So now we're going to cover the git method is defined here. We're just going to look at the code because it's a very simple method. So if we want to get a key from a client, we call git with the key. It checks if is uh, the root non not none, which is basically this if. If it is, then there exists a tree, and so it calls a recursive git uh, on that subtree, which in this case is the root. So we'll use that to uh, to git on all the subtrees. So this, if it exists, if it finds the uh, key we're looking for, it returns a node and resource, otherwise resource will be none. So it checks if that node exists, it returns the data for that node by returning the payload. If it doesn't exist, it returns none. If there was no root, that means there's an empty tree, we also return none. So that's the main get method. The recursive call works by um, first it checks is the current node um, none, it returns none. So if we recurse to a child that's set to none, it just returns none. Else if the current node is equal to the key, we've found what we're looking for, we just return the current node. It, uh, otherwise, it hasn't found it, so it has to look in the left or right child. So, it, so it is the key less than the current key? If it is, then recurse into the left child, else recurse into the right child. So that's the recursive uh, git. And then there's two more methods provided for the client. There's git item, which will uh, define getting using the index operator that's built into Python. And there's contains, which will implement the n operator. So those are fairly straightforward. So now we're going to cover the delete method, which is complicated. Uh, we're going to implement the delete method on a key. So if the key exists, it's going to return it. We're going to implement a underscore get method to do the find. So we want to find the node with that key in the tree that needs removal. Um, and we're going to write this method to do that. If the node to be found is the root and there are no other nodes, then we just remove the root. If the node is not found, we raise an error. Uh, and then there's going to be, when we do find the node and we, that we want to delete, there's three cases for how to delete it. One is where the node to be deleted has no children. That's the simplest case. Where the node to be deleted has uh, only one child. Fix that there. So if, if the node to be deleted has one child, there's that case. And where the node to be deleted has both left and right children is the most complicated case. Okay, so we're going to look at implementing delete. So here's the high level uh, delete method. So you just pass the key. If the uh, there's more than one item in the tree, it means we have a subtree, then we call uh, recursive git to find the node to be deleted. And uh, it's going to return that node. Uh, if the node exists, uh, we're going to call a special routine to remove it. So this will actually do the operation of the delete. And we're going to decrease the size by one. If the node didn't exist, we have a key error. So we're going to raise an error. Now, if the size is exactly one, it's going to do this if else if here. So if the size is equal to one and the root key is equal to the key, that means that the, it, the, the tree only has one node and we're deleting it because it matches the key in which case we set the root to none and we decrease the size. Uh, if we the size is exactly one and it doesn't match the root, then we raise a key error. So that's going to be this last else. And then again, we have a special method to delete the operator for delete in Python. So this just calls the delete uh, method we just did. So let's look at the simplest case if the node is a leaf. So this shows you a tree here, and we're going to delete this node in white here, node uh, with the key 16. So because it has no children, all we have to do is remove it from the tree, and it doesn't affect any other nodes. The only thing it's going to affect is this node will have a right child, so we have to set the right child of this node to none. So here's the resulting final tree after we delete it. So basically the code looks like this. It's just an if the current node is a leaf. If the current node uh, equals the current node parent dot left child. So that's asking uh, is the current node equal to the left child of the parent of itself. 
So it's basically his left child. If it is, uh, then it's going to set that left child of the parent to none. Else, it's a right child, it's going to set the right child to none.